Will this convert me back into being a sheep again? I'm going to live with this phone for the next two weeks doing normal human things like taking videos of my fat baby, photos of my slightly taller fat baby, vlogging our 10th anniversary and just seeing if this titanium iPhone can like undo all of the Apple sheep escaping experiments I've done in the past couple months. Quit Apple. Only three months ago, I absolutely fell in love with this small Android flagship. The main reason? The massive ass battery life in such a small form factor. Also, Android not being as crap as I imagined. Then one morning, Mr. Cook, the shepherd himself said, Good morning. And next minute, I was refreshing the shat out of the Apple homepage like a drug addict. You're making this Android boy wait for you, mate. Come on. Every day, I would leave the house with my 15 Pro in my left pocket and the 13 Mini in my right pocket. After the first two days of life, I noticed myself always reaching for the 13 Mini for all phone needs outside of phone calls from my personal number. Need maps for a cafe? Right pocket. Need to reply to a friend on Messenger? Right pocket. Need to read X on the toilet? Left pocket. Turns out, I still very much prefer the small ass form factor of the 13 mini. Yes, the 15 Pro is similar size to the Zenfone, but when I really looked into it, as in like scientifically looked into it, the iPhone 15 Pro measures in at 70.6 millimeters, which is a whopping 2.5 millimeters wider than the Zenfone 10. No wonder I kept reaching for the much narrower 64.2 millimeter iPhone 13 mini. There's probably some of you thinking, who gives a rat's ass crack about two millimeters of the width? Bruh, this size does matter, okay? And I'm sure every single person that fell in love with the iPhone 13 mini is on the same wavelength. Fat baby's here. <laughs> Mia, say like and subscribe. <laughs> Say fat baby. Fat baby. <laughs> now, when it comes to the cameras, if you've got kids, the camera on your phone actually kind of matters because you will use up that 256 gigabytes in like five seconds. But as a professional photographer myself, I can't really tell the difference between this thing and this thing and my 13 mini. Like, I can't tell the difference. And, and the thing is, even if there was a difference, I'm putting it on Instagram. I'm saving it for just memories for my parents to see and stuff like that. They don't give a rat's ass. 24 megapixels, oh you got the 12 megapixels. I do see these being very, very convenient, especially when it comes to shooting vlogs and videos, you know, for this channel. But this thing has the capability of shooting ProRes in log which I'm never gonna do because one minute of this talking head is literally gonna be 69 gigabytes. Let's actually shoot a very short segment on this ProRes log and see if it blows my mind. Let's go now actually, let's go, let's go and shoot some crap. Now the major difference, color and contrast and the ability to tweak. So if you're shooting on log, you can make it exactly what you want. Now, I'm hoping, Apple, you're probably not gonna watch this. Please allow us to shoot log with the H.265 codec. I know you can do it, just turn it on. I slept on my Sony LUT and just tweaked it a bit and it looks absolutely beautiful, I love it. Oh, it's like 50 gigabytes. Joyce, say something cool. Um, I like it and then I, I'm going to slide down. Okay. So, I need to get this iPhone 15 Pro video out there's so many more shots to shoot. The problem is, both of my kids are home today. Hello. Hello. I'm just going to record today like as if the kids aren't home. So you might hear screaming in the background. Just deal with it. Joy, please. Ow. Ow. Let me finish the video. No. Uh, uh. Alright. You are just about to witness the most useless benchmarking test you're ever going to see. This is... 
This is absolute dumb. If they cry in the middle of the test, just lower the volume. All right. Okay, cool. And we're off. Okay, just right off the bat, the Zenfone is the worst. Like it's done three photos out of 79. That's just shockingly bad. Okay, oh, wow, wow, okay. iPhone 15 Pro completed first. Absolutely demolished the MacBook Pro. That is insane. Well, literally neck and neck. They both done 76 photos each. This is exciting. Oh, they finished at the same time. Oh my goodness. Mind you, none of these are on low power mode, except the laptop. Actually, you know what? Let's try again in high power mode and let's just see what happens. Zenfone is still barely just past the halfway mark. Baby bus now. Yeah, just wait. We're just waiting for this slow ass phone to finish. Oh, here we go. Zenfone has finished. Finally. All right, this test is done. Thank you so much for bearing with that. Bye, love, and describe. <laughs> Baba, I got it. <laughs> Let's talk about this little action button that I have actually fallen in love with because it does some fun stuff. So if you own a Tesla, this little button is epic. Why? You press the button, the car will fart on demand while your wife's driving. You just do it whenever you, you just, you're just working, you're bored. Press the button, car farts. But my favorite is to precondition the car and turn the aircon on without even opening your phone. This is how cavemen do it with their iPhone 14s and 13s. First of all, you gotta whip out your phone, touch the screen, swipe up, look for the Tesla app, tap on climate, then tap on on. Oh, you don't have a Tesla? All good, you can map the button to send a message to your wife when she asks you, Oh honey, how long are you gonna take to come home? Press this button, boop. What's up? Everything, automatic, one button. That, that's pretty life changing. That's actually pretty cool. To me, this action button is kind of the most exciting thing about this phone because I'm not used to customizable stuff on the iPhone, you know what I mean? They just say, this is how you gotta use the phone. This is how the phone should look. That's it. It's probably the Android community that kind of pushed them to make stuff like this. Android had this action button ages ago. For some reason, they got rid of it. It's coming back, watch. All right, so what is the final verdict? Now, I pretty much recorded my journey to really decide, am I gonna keep this or not? Within the first three days of using this phone, I was 100% sure I was gonna keep this. Then as the days went on, I realized there is one fatal flaw and it's the price. This thing costs $2,400. This is stupid expensive. The iPhone 15 Pro is absolutely amazing. It's the best iPhone I've ever used. It is, it feels and looks great. It shoots great photos and videos. Is all of that worth $2,400? No. The problem is the iPhone exists alongside other iPhones that does 99% of what this can do at literally half the price, if not less. Even the action button that I love so much. Fart right now, my wife's driving. Fart, fart, fart. That's so fun to do. Fart, 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 fart. Anytime I want, I feel stressed, but you know, just brightens up my day. Even that isn't worth $2,400. As soon as I press, you know, stop recording, I'm going to the Apple store and I'm returning this crap and my reason is it's not worth it. That's what's gonna be my reason. And don't get me wrong, there are humans out there that genuinely use this for their business, right? Whether it's taking photos with these, printing them, using them, using the LiDAR scanner, to, I don't know, create floor maps or whatever. Minority people out there look at the iPhone 15 Pro and go, that is an investment. I will make money off that thing. But there's only seven of you guys out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? The 99.9% .9 of us that rushed out to buy this, you don't need it, dude. I'm happy to report I'm going back to this guy. Battery life, Zenfone is better. You have headroom for days iPhone 15 Pro is not bad. You'll just be at like 10% by the end of the night. And in terms of the photos, the iPhone is better when it comes to people shots. But when it comes to just landscapes and just random crap, they're both good. The more I thought about it, 
it's better off buying last year's 14 or 13 Pro. This thing cost me $1,100. This iPhone 13 mini cost me, what, $800? So these two combined is still cheaper. That fart button's worth about $1,100, I think. So if this was $1,100, I'll get it just for that fart button. I'm on my way to return this iPhone 15 Pro and I have no idea why, but I am absolutely pumped to return this thing. It's like this guilt that I have, that I purchased something that is overpriced. You know, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I just want to get rid of it. Yeah, it was just too bloody expensive. Yep, all good. Cool? Cool. Now that I'm going to daily a iPhone 13 mini, which has a much smaller battery life, there is a solution that I found. You know what's cool? I actually carry two of them in my bag. So this is called the Banks charger. 10,000 milliamp hours. So I can charge this iPhone mini like five times. I've got another one, a black one. Go it works, check this out. How cool is that? So when we went to um, Bali, we didn't bring massive portable chargers or anything like that. We literally just brought two of these things, which I will link in the description. This thing is awesome. My wife loved this thing so much. She said, go get another one for yourself. I don't want to share with you anymore. That's why we have two. I just wanted to give a shout out to all the support I'm getting over on Kofi. And every day as our subscriber count grows and our influence grows, it just gives me so much hope to think that we're going to have so much power on the next documentary that we make because we're going to do it with you guys. And just by watching the video, liking and subscribing and even commenting, even the hateful comments are all helping to, to make a better impact for this world. And I'm just, I'm just pumped and I'm excited and I can't believe this is happening. And I just want to say thank you to every single one of you. How many of you guys right now? Like 17,000, 17,000 of you guys. This is nuts. Bro, how am I just like in front of a camera in my bedroom wearing my undies right now? How am I making money off this? This is just nuts. What would you like to say to our fans? They're all your fans, I'll be honest. No comment.